keep your relationship fun. Now, let me just tell you guys, I will never forget the year that our theme, because we talk about the one word theme, we share this with our client, that you can actually say one word and that's your focus for the entire year. Well, our theme was fun. And it wasn't like every day we woke up, I've got to have fun, like robots. <laughs> well, that doesn't sound like much fun. That doesn't I've got sound to have like fun. much fun. <laughs> if I got, okay, I gotta have fun. I gotta be fun. I gotta have fun. No, but we made the decision that this year that we're speaking of was going to be a fun year. And we, if fun opportunities came, we did the most amazing things. We had the most fun with our vacations and with our friends and connecting. And it just came to us because we made the decision to have fun. And so it's really important for us mm -hmm. as couples to have fun together because it actually bonds us and keeps us connected. We often drift apart when we get married because of all the other obstacles, you know? We have our children, we have jobs, responsibilities, families, and other things that distract us from one another. And so oftentimes by the time we come home, we're on empty, our tank is empty and we look empty, laid up on the couch <laughs> like we don't wanna be bothered. And we've gotta make an effort and make it important to have fun together. You know why that's important? Because many of you who are miserable, you're having fun. You're just having fun with other people. And you give the world your best. Yeah, you give them the your energy. You give them your excitement. You give them great stories, great conversation. You give them all of your pizzazz. And then you mute yourself, right? You decimate yourself when you enter into that household. And it's just like, hey, what's good with you? How was work? Where was work? Like there's just nothing. There's a deadness that has taken place in the relationship. And it's time to revive it when you can just sit down with your spouse in front of the fireplace, in front of the TV and just talk and just laugh and just giggle and chuckle and be playful. Like that element is so critically important. There's so many people, you know, who have been impacted by the pandemic and they're still waiting for the world to open up for, they're still waiting for permission to begin to go back what they call Can to normal break it to down. have some type of fun break it down they're still waiting for permission to do what to live to live life is it safe can we do? Can we get like, come on, bring that. I'm saying, and it's, you know, they're saying, well, you know, I'm not sure about 2021. They're saying it may not be till spring. It may not be till the and, summer, the fall, the winter. I don't know. And so yeah. we're just going to wait and see. No, Joker, you ain't waiting for nothing. This is the year to grab, you know, this year by its horns and you make it what you want absolutely, it to be. Absolutely. If you're cramped in a thousand square foot apartment, Figure out how to make that thing Absolutely. fun. Absolutely. If you can walk around the park and just breathe in the fresh air, figure out how to make that thing fun. Figure something out because I'm going to tell you something. Fun is not going to knock on your door and say, hey, I'm here. You got to make that thing happen. And you want to make it happen with your spouse. And neither is life. Life is not going to be like, do, 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 do. I'm here. Can we go live life now? We have got to recognize, people keep calling it the new norm. Ain't nothing new about it anymore. It's just norm, okay? <laughs> so let's just get with the norm and find your normal in your home, in your circles, in your community, and be safe while you're doing it. Absolutely. Did everybody forget what they say? Um, well, now they're saying 12 feet distance, whatever it is, right? But wow. we, we, many people have barricaded themselves behind doors and have just got, become frozen mm. and stuck. And there are so many things that you could do. Here we are talking to you from our, our basement right now. So there are many No, things. this is the Couples Academy World International Headquarters. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but here we are talking to you in your living room, in your office, in your space, and connecting, communicating. Stop thinking that because of what's going on in the world, number one, that there's no more God on the throne who is running it all and knows everything from the beginning to the end. And number two, stop thinking that you can't live your life and do. Put your mask on, put some hand sanitizer on and go outside and walk around and let the hit sun hit you, as you said. There it get is. Get some vitamin D, get inspired, get an idea, get some energy, get up early, pray, get an idea and do something, y'all, because life has not ended with COVID. It's just, we, we have to pivot. That's Everybody it. been using that word, pivot. Okay, what's your pivot? Figure it out. You got to get used to different. Mm -hmm. We're and it's and guess what? It's never going to go back to the way it was. And all we do, first of all, we struggle and complain about our present situation, and then things get worse, and then we want things to go back to the good old days. Well, when was it good for you? Like you were complaining yeah. while you were going through it. Then you talk about how great it was when you're out of it. So you're never satisfied. Listen, all you need to do is figure out how do I maximize this day with myself, with my spouse, with my children, because tomorrow's not promised. So I might as well make the most out of today. And make it fun. There it is. Fun, guys. Fun.